Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. A few days ago, just before the season ends, I reached Master 5 here with nothing but the Synchron deck that you saw in my earlier videos. I didn't grind as much as I did when I used the Kashtira Sword Soul or the Kashtira. As you can see here, three duels. March 30, March 29, a few duels here. I don't know why the rest of the duels aren't recorded in the history, but yeah, it wasn't that much of a grind. I was just mainly doing my dailies, just logging in, play some games, get my dailies done, get the gems, and scoop out play some other game that's what i've been doing but there are days that i did play quite a few more than the usual but nevertheless it was the easiest grind to master yeah moving on so the deck that i used to reach master rank last well this current season is uh the synchron adventure with the abel star and sinful spoil engine but i've already made three videos about that deck so this time we're gonna do the same deck but a different variation because i mentioned in the first video that it has two variations and the variation that i was showing you guys was the hand loop version so this time i'm gonna do the calamity version so this is my version of adventure synchron with calamity lock just an insane card guys insane card so something you don't see often in this deck is shashula also the, co the cosmic blazer dragon i just love these cards man shashula has become one of my favorite cards ever since I used it for the hand loop deck. And it's just a really good going second card alongside Satellite Warrior, which also I did put in the hand loop version. It's just a good way to break board and win the game. It's really easy to do this too with a combination of Axel Synchron and Stardust Trail. Of course, a level one tuner, either Revolution Synchron Effect or Jet Synchron with Stardust Trail. And then you make this a level nine by throwing a Stardust Synchron in the graveyard and Stardust Trail will summon a token because we did synchro summon a synchron and with axel synchron level 9 we use crimson dragon to make trishula and then use them to make this batter and trishula plus another level 1 tuner we make a satellite warrior that is assuming we already have baron the floor in the field because first summon would be baron as much as possible but satellite warrior just wins games guys it just wins games it's so good going second at least going first we're going a completely different route we're gonna ignore trishula gonna ignore this batter and we're going for the herald and the calamity lock that is the main goal of this deck is the calamity lock the opponent with barone herald sorry herald and in calamity we have a line here with revolution synchro we can also synchro summon cosmic blazer so it's cosmic blazer super heavy samurai crimson dragon calamity lock herald of arc light and Baron the Fleur. I do want to focus on getting Herald of Arc Light in the end board so that we can avoid getting Forbidden Droplet. But that is the deck breakdown. Moving on to the deck list. We got two Effect Veiler. I scrapped the Droll Lock. Effect Veiler is just more effective. We also have three Infinite Perm, Maxi, and Ash. That's those are our hand traps. For our engines, we got two Jet Synchron, two Assault Synchron, two Water Enchantress, two Revolution Synchron, one Junk Servant for the Servant line, two Stardust Synchron, one Stardust Trail, one Wandering Griffin Rider. For the non engines, we got and we got unicorn and another engine is the abel star two of them we got three wanted for our spells we got foolish burial two triple tactics talent talents is just so good hands down one starters illumination two right of ramis here one sinful spoils one dual added card for the deck is the synchro rumble it really helps extend plays we can even go for crimson dragon and the calamity lock without doing the junk speeder line we got draco back we got faithful adventure do on your mark i do prefer to use on your mark here and it's also a way to get revolution synchro rather than the synchro overtake you can also use the tuning but i prefer to use the on your mark because it's the same effect but you don't have to mill a card and also this is a continuous spell so it's really really good for sinful spoils we got two call by the grave three wanted and yeah three infirm as i already stated before we don't have small rule here so we are a little bit more prone to max c moving on to the extra deck we got herald of arc light axel synchron junk speeder Stardust Charge Warrior, Stardust Dragon, Omega, Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon, Ashula Dragon of the Ice Barrier, Satellite Warrior, Baron the Fleur, Peace Shield Dispatter, Hot Red Dragon Artfian, King Calamity, One Cosmic Blazer Dragon, Super Heavy Samurai, Heavy uh, Brave Something Something, and last but not least, Crimson Dragon. So that's it for the deck list, guys. I won't do any combo tutorials just yet because it's almost similar to the first ones that I made. But if ever that you're interested in specifically this deck and how it plays or different ways that it can play, just let me know in the comment section down below and I'll make a video just for you. All right, that's it. Let's get some duels in and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so this hand, <laughs> bro, this hand is just straight up insane. This is just straight up insane. We don't even have to use Unicorn, but if you want to use Unicorn, you can go ahead and do that. Actually, do I want to do that? I think I want to activate this. 
Okay, so they definitely have Maxi. This person definitely has Maxi. So we're gonna get Revolution Synchron because we are going to go for the Revolution Synchro line. I'm gonna activate Foolish Burial. We're gonna throw our Enchantress in. Activated the Enchantress in the graveyard. We got a Rite of Promise here. Unless we get Ash here. Oh, by the way, I do have alternate our Ash. I've been pulling for this ever since. And, but uh, how many pulls have already done? And I only have one of these, man. Oh, one of these. Crazy. Activate Rite of Ramesse here. That's probably going to be... It's probably going to be... Oh, wow. No. Wow, what? I wonder what that hand trap is. Anyway, we normal summon our Jet Synchron here. Activate Faithful Adventure. We get this. We don't need to equip it. Actually, don't equip it. Because you're going to need to discard that. You know what? I don't even think we need Unicorn. So we're just going to discard Unicorn. We're going to grab the Griffin Rider. Get rid of the Unicorn. We might be able to use Reiko back going into the second turn. Or the third turn. Activate Griffin Rider. Okay, so there's the Maxi. That is... Oh, they're going to scoop here probably. Probably going to scoop here. But that's kind of weird. Why, you, why did you delay the Maxi? Probably doesn't have any other hand trap. Please let me play. Please let the please don't scoop. Please let me play. Alright, so from here, we go for our first negate. Right of the board. We go Baron de Fleur. My favorite synchro card. I, I, I've, I've been saying a lot of synchro cards is my favorite synchro card, but Baron is definitely up there. Doesn't seem to have any more hand traps. So use Revolution Synchro and the... There you have it. That is the first duel. We didn't even get to play, man. We Let's move on to the next duel. Ooh, this is a really good hand. We have Fall by the Grave. We have Wanted. I should have activated Wanted, but... It's fine. It's fine. Ash. No Ash. Very, very interesting. I should summon the Bell Star. Throw away the Enchantress. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that. I guess if he negates, no negates. Okay. Activate Enchantress. Get right of a Ramus here. This is probably the special summon that he is waiting for. Maxi? No Maxi. Then what are you playing, my friend? We go activate adventure. Oh, you want to ash that. Okay. I mean, it's not really a problem. Activate sinful spoil. Get rid of this. There goes the Maxi. Activate Fall by the Grave, and they are probably going to scoop because they're Maxi. But oh, wow, it's a glossy finish Maxi, too. Insane. <laughs> Crazy. Get rid of that. Get Jet Synchron. You still have a hand trap with you? Wow. Okay. You know what? Let's try to draw a card. You see, oh, he still has a hand trap. Okay, that's a useless draw. Anyway, to activate this. Synchro Summon Jet Synchron Diabel Star into Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon. And if ever they negate, negate this with a Veiler. Okay, no Veiler. Oh. No, nothing. Activate this. This is probably... Oh, nothing. Okay. What do they have? They have one more card. I was scared they were going to nib the, the beer right there. I was scared. But... It's safe. All good. Dunk speeder in the field. Dunk speeder resolution. Dunk speed. Effect failure in the junk speeder. Okay. 
This is master, huh? What? I don't even know that anyway. Uh, we get all our synchrons in the field. And I watch as they will scoop right here. <laughs> GG. Oh, wow. This is a really good hand. So we activate this here. No ash. Perfect. Oh, Max C activated. This is my rank up match, by the way. Wow. There goes the Max C. Activate the Abel Star. Ah, uh, we throw Enchantress. You know, if they use more hand traps to us right now, if they infirm this or Peg Veiler this, it will only have three cards. It's still a pretty strong board having the right plus, uh, plus the uh, Griffin plus the Imperm. So, yeah, it's still, it's still pretty strong. We activate Enchantress. Try to bait out anything. Nothing got baited. <laughs> Nothing at all, so we activate right of Remus here, here. Set this here. And then uh, we just go ahead and get our Griffin. Throw away the other right of Remus here. Special Summoner Griffin. Activate this. So we can get our Draco back. Save this for later. Actually, no, I, I won't save it for later. Activate Sinful Spoil. Throw away the Draco back. Get the Jet Synchron. Special Summon. Don't activate it. I don't need to. Synchro Summon, Jet Synchron, and Diabell Star. Always leave the Griffin Rider. If possible. Because it's also a negate. An Omni negate. We are always protected. We get our Jet Synchron. Activate Excel Synchron. Stardust Dragon. Young Speeder. Activate Young Speeder. Still the same line, same combo. Get Jet Synchron, don't get Assault Synchron because we have. Griffin Rider. We only get Assault Synchron if we don't have Griffin Rider or any other level 7 in the field. But mainly Griffin Rider. Revolution Synchron. Start a Synchron. Put that here. Put you here. Put you there. Activate Start a Synchron. Get the Illumination. Perfect. 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 Tinker Summon into Baron de Fleur using Revolution. And the Griffin Rider. That's our... Actually, the second negate. Griffin was the first negate. Next, Crimson Dragon using Stardust Synchron and the Stardust Dragon. The Royal Finish. Oh, by the way, did you, see, you guys see this? I just pulled a glossy finish around the floor while I was pulling for the Ash Blossom. Get the screw <laughs> Synchro Rumble. Actually, I kind of misplayed, guys. I should have activated Stardust Elimination. I got way too excited. But, uh, you know, it's, it's fine, guys. It's fine. It's fine. doesn't matter. We just activate Synchro Rumble now. It's fine. It it really doesn't matter. Just get sync start a synchron to the field. You know, get it there. It's it's, it's fine, guys. It's fine. It's still the it's still the same end board. It's, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Start this elimination. Start a trail. Special summon. It's, guys, I'm telling you, it it's fine. It, it's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I didn't I, I didn't misplay. I definitely didn't misplay. It's just the same play over and over again. I, I didn't misplay, guys. It's definitely not me. Not me. So, there we go. Activate Axel Synchron. So, the Assault Synchron. Increase the level. Make this an Omega. Activate Omega. Let's see what your deck is. It's a Mikanko deck. Okay. 
So we activate Stardust Synchron. See, it's still the same line, guys. It's still the same everything. Don't have to worry about a thing. It's the same stuff. Activate Stardust Trail. Then we activate Revolution Synchro. It's still the same. I did misplay a little bit, but it's still the same. Same end board. And I wish I wish I was able to showcase the, the Quasar line. Oh, before we do that, activate the Elimination. Decrease the level. And then, we can go do this. And last piece, Herald of Arc Light. We are protected from many, many things. Mainly Forbidden Droplet. He has three cards in hand. We have two Omni Negates. Herald of Arc Light. And I do want to draw myself a card. Hopefully a hand trap, like Ash. That's not an Ash, but hey, can we extend? No, we can't. Anyway, set our Imperm. End our turn. Turn this on. Activate Crimson Dragon. We target our Super Heavy Samurai. Ooh, is that an Imperm? That's a scoop. And just like that, we are now Master 4, everybody. <laughs> All in one sitting. Oh, how many duels was that? I did lose one duel because I misplayed a lot. It was against a Labyrinth. We, we were going second. And uh, I didn't draw that well. Going second, it wasn't that good. So yeah, we did. We did lose one duel, which is still winnable. I was able to make it to turn five. And turn four, I really misplayed heavily on the Satellite Warrior. Look at this. We're already Master 4 all in one sitting. I just reached Master 5 the other day, March 30, and now <laughs> Master 4. Bro, Adventure Syngron is just insane. I'm liking this a lot more. The Calamity Lock. This one's actually so versatile. I can do so many things. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know your questions down below. Don't be shy to comment. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all in the next video. Look at this. Peace.